Hey, good morning, Periscope. What's up? It's Greg Howes. It is Wednesday morning. Good to see you. I'm running a few minutes late, so I apologize for that. But uh, I'm glad that we are here together and we can spend a few minutes at the start of this day believing God for some good things in our lives. I hope you're having a great morning so far. Uh, this abbreviated week because of the Labor Day holiday, it's Wednesday already. Wow. Week is going by quick. So um, good things are happening. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Got some good people on the line here. Some good people. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, if you want to release those hearts, all you have to do is tap the screen. Hey, LaTanya, good to see you. Tanya, good to see you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, yeah, good morning. Great to be with you this morning for a few minutes. Um, this evening at Cornerstone, we start at 7.15 p.m., and this is going to be another evening of worship tonight, and our special guest worship leader is Dee Wilson. So it's going to be a powerful time of worship this evening, and so if you are in the area, and if you're free this evening, if you're not doing anything, we'd love to have you come out to Cornerstone and uh, spend about 90 minutes or so with us in just worship. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to worship God, wait in his presence. So you would be very welcome. So that's this evening at 7.15 p.m. at Cornerstone Christian Center located at 2919 Chicago Road in South Chicago Heights. So if you're in the area, come on by. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Great to have you here. Uh, this This week, I've been talking to you about prayer, and I wanted to just spend a few more minutes on prayer this morning, uh, just uh, looking at the subject of prayer, and um, we are looking at how God wants to help us develop a, uh, a strong prayer life and uh, really be, be clear about what we're doing in prayer uh, on, on a daily basis, um, a um, daily devotional time, if you want to call it that, a quiet, some people say quiet time. So having a quiet time in the presence of God, really important. And, and I want you to realize today that when we spend time in prayer, that time in prayer is working to transform us. We are transformed, of course, by the Word of God, but we can also be transformed by spending time in the presence of God, in worship and in prayer. You know, there's some great scriptures in the Bible concerning transformation. Uh, one of them is Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, where the Bible says, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So so we have that, that issue of our minds being renewed. Of course, that happens by the Word of God. But it can also happen as we spend time in His presence. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 says that we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, we are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. So transformation is taking place. Transformation. Transformation. It means that we're moving from one place to another. It means that we're being changed, that we're being shaped. Uh, transformation is coming from the word metamorphosis. Metamorphosis meaning a, a change of nature, a change of form. It's something that's happening in our lives. Uh, the, the illustration from nature is the caterpillar being changed into a butterfly. A complete change of form and a complete change of nature. And that's exactly what's happening to us as we spend time in the presence of God. We are being changed from earthbound creatures seeing everything from the perspective of being bound to this earth life, or you might say seeing things from below, and we're being transformed, our nature is being transformed, to one of being from above, where we are soaring in the spirit, we're soaring in the heavenly realms as we spend time in the presence of God. So it's that transformation, the change of form and nature from the caterpillar to the butterfly, from being earthbound to flowing in the spirit of God. So that's what we're after as we spend time in the presence of God. Now, I want to encourage you to develop a daily time with the Lord, a quiet time, a devotional time with Him. Uh, we have precedent for this in Scripture. Mark chapter 1 and verse 35 is speaking of Jesus. And it says, Now in the morning, having, having risen a long while before daylight, Jesus went out and departed to a solitary place, and there He prayed. So we have the example of Jesus. He becomes a model for us. 
that Jesus would get up early in the morning and he would go and spend time with the Father. He would go to spend time in prayer. He would have his quiet time in the presence of his Father, waiting upon his Father. So Jesus is a pattern in Scripture. Psalm 42 gives us another one. It says, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? And so here the psalmist is looking for a time when he can appear, when he can be in the presence of God. And so I want to encourage you again today to um, develop that time, that daily quiet time in the presence of the Lord. And when you are there, you can read your Bible, you can spend time in Scripture, and, and you're reading the Word, you're reading your Bible with the intent of discovering Jesus in the Word. Jesus is in between every line in Scripture. And so as you go into the Bible, as you read the Bible, you are looking for Jesus. You want to meet Jesus in the Word, in the Word. And then you can begin to meditate on what you read. And as you meditate on what you read, that, that truth is going to begin to saturate your soul. It's going to get into your mind. It's going to get into your emotions. It's going to begin to impact your life in a mighty way. So be encouraged with that today. So we're going to read the Bible. We're going to meditate on the scripture that we are reading. That means you go over it and over it and over it. It means you mutter it, you, you whisper it, you speak it, you confess it, you pray it. You bring that scripture up before God. And then in that quiet time, you can go into a place of prayer. You can begin to um, give praise and thanks to God for all the good things he's done in your life. You can thank him for uh, the significant people in your life. You can thank him for uh, things like your children or your job or your church or your leaders. Uh, you begin to commune with him. You uh, can lift up your petitions, your desires, your needs, your wants. You can lift all of that up to God in that time of prayer. And then you spend time in worshiping him. So all of this is developing a quiet time, you alone with God. Now, why should you do that? Well, number one is because it pleases the Lord. The Lord wants to spend time with you. And so as you move into that quiet time with him, you are pleasing God. It also is going to bring benefits into your life. As you spend time in the presence of God on a daily basis, it's going to release the benefits of heaven into your life. Benefits like information that you need to have, truth, guidance, wisdom, um, encouragement. The power of God is going to come into your life. Pleasure, the pleasure of the Lord is going to enter your life simply by you spending that quiet time in the presence of God. Now, you're going to have to discipline yourself. You're going to have to find that time to be in the presence of God. Uh, this week, we've mentioned several things about we know how busy our schedules are. Those of you that have young children, it becomes difficult to find that time because kids require attention. We know that. So it may mean that you have to either get up real early in the morning before anybody else in the house is up, or it may mean that you stay up late at night after everybody else has gone to bed but you just have to find that time. Maybe there's a, a lunch break on your job. Maybe you have an hour for lunch. Uh, instead of just hanging out with your buddies on the job, maybe you can go sit in your car for a half hour or so and get your Bible out and, and just spend some time in the Word, spend some time in prayer on your lunch break. Just seek God during that time. Don't forget to turn the air conditioning on. It's kind of warm these days. But, but that is a place where you can spend time in the presence of God. But you just have to find the time. And the real secret to that quiet time is to learn how to quiet your mind. Because even though all the people may be gone, everything that distracts you may be out of the way, you still have your brain, you still have your mind. And how many of you know, I, I know this happens to me, my thoughts can just go crazy. Yeah, amen, wisdom. Yeah, I'm trying to get wisdom here. Your thoughts can go crazy. Your, your thoughts can just run away with you. Good morning, Fabian. Hey, man, good to see you. I hope your knee is improving. Good morning. 
um, your thoughts can just run away with you. You can be sitting in the presence of God and all of a sudden you're a million miles away. You're thinking about all the stuff you have to do. You're thinking about the Bears playing the Packers this Sunday. If you're me, you're thinking about UCLA playing football this Saturday. You know, you, you just, your mind just goes off in a thousand different directions. So we have to learn how to discipline our thoughts. We have to learn how to discipline our minds to spend that time in the presence of God, seeking Him, going after Him, worshiping Him, lifting up our petitions to Him, and being transformed in His presence. Amen. So be encouraged today. Find that place of prayer. Go after it today before this day is done. Get that time in prayer. Even if it's just five minutes, start someplace. Spend a few minutes in the presence of God. Be encouraged with it. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Again, if you're in the area tonight, we have our evening of worship at Cornerstone with our special uh, worship leader, D. Wilson, tonight at 7.15 p.m. All right, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the day. Be blessed. Um, just, just be encouraged in that prayer time. Yeah, amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much. Good morning. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon.